You've been elected 4-H club vice president. Here's what you need to know. Vice president has four responsibilities. They help determine the club goals at the beginning of the year, chair the club's program planning committee or process, fill in for the president when they are away, and, re and represent the club as requested. Here are some quick tips to help you get started. A great resource is the So You Are a 4-H Club Officer, which can be found at this link. At the beginning of each 4-H year, the first job of the Vice President, working with the adult leader, is to set the 4-H goals. These goals should be used as input for program planning, which is another Vice Presidential responsibility. All clubs in Missouri are required to set and approve goals in three areas, health and safety, community service, because we pledge our health to better living for our community, country, and world, and recreation. 4-H should be fun. There is a worksheet in the So You Are a 4-H Club Officer that can help you. Here is a tip. <coughs> Break your club into three to four small groups to create recommended goal statements for each one of the goal areas. For example, one group creates a goal or goals for health and safety. Another creates opinions for recreation. Give the groups 15 minutes and then report out to the bigger group. You can vote on recommendations as a club. The vice president's next responsibility is to plan the club meeting programs. The programs should help the club meet their yearly goals. That means there is a plan as what will happen at each meeting, when it will happen, who will be responsible for planning or organizing, and what goals it helps accomplish. A quick tip is to organize the meeting programs all at once at the beginning of each year, then everyone knows what to expect and what will what help will be needing in advance of each meeting. Planning the club's meetings programs can easily be done using the program worksheet found in the So You Are a 4-H Club Officer handout. You can quick start the process by writing down a list of ideas from past year's activities. Member interests, talents of adults or parents, working with your club or county or ideas from other clubs. You can then plot these ideas ideas against suggested months and what goal that idea might help achieve. Even if you kickstart the program planning process with a list of ideas, it's always a good idea to engage your club in the process. There are many ways to include 4-H members in the brainstorming of club meeting programs. You can obviously create a formal program committee made up of representatives from your club. You can also send out a survey to God's club interests. A fun way is to use part of one meeting to use formal brainstorming techniques like handing out sticky notes and pens and letting kids get creative. Once everyone has 5 to 10 minutes to write as many ideas as possible, each idea on its own sticky note, then the group can cluster like ideas to form themes or final recommendations. Here's another tip. Delegate responsibilities for portions of the meeting to other officers. An example is for recreation leaders to be responsible for games and or parties, like holiday or end-of-year celebrations. Likewise, project leaders can recruit members to give demonstrations or hold short programs on their area of 4-H expertise. Submit program recommendations to the club for approval. Members accept plan without change or approve changes. There are a couple of easy ways to vote. You can submit a slate of ideas to be voted on through formal nomination. This is usually works best when you have a formal program committee that represents the interest of your members. It can also be the better approach if you have particularly large or young club. Another approach is to use sticky dots and flip chart paper to allow people to vote on each idea at once. This works well when you're trying to build buy-in and a consistent consensus, increase participation, or have a very active and engaged group of members. There is no right or wrong way. Decide what would work best for your club. A vice president's responsibilities do happen during the start of the 4-H year, but there are also ongoing responsibilities too. The vice president is the one that should really introduce each meeting's program and the associated speaker or people conducting the program, as well as thank them at the end. Good luck as you take on the vice president role. 
Remember to help your club set goals for the year and ensure everyone has fun by organizing engaging programs. Have a great year!